What's up, YouTube? If you're not subscribed yet, uh, hit that subscribe button and do me a favor and leave a comment. Uh, what would you replace my truck with? No payments, probably like $5,000 cash that you had to spend. Leave a comment and I'm just curious. I mean, let's get some car talk going down there or truck talk or Jeep talk or whatever talk. I'm not quite a Cummins enthusiast, but I do love those trucks. I love my truck. I've wanted it for a very long time. I've watched my friend build it up. He did all the right mods. He had the transmission rebuilt. When I found out it was for sale, me and my fiance Leanne, we were looking into getting a fifth wheel. So I obviously I jumped on the truck. We were gonna get a fifth wheel, travel the country. I was gonna chase some work seasonally. And then we were gonna travel and live abroad in a fifth wheel for a little bit. That sounded like a great idea. It sounded like a lot of fun. Anyways, we bought our property and the fifth wheel idea never, it never happened. It's not gonna happen. Um, but I was still like, cool, I could use the truck. I could buy a dump trailer or I could get roll off trailers. I can get a piece of equipment. You know, I have the truck. I could, I could make money doing that. I need to decide if I'm willing to keep trading my time for cool stuff by working for other people. Or am I gonna, am I gonna better use my time for building infrastructure and systems on our property to be more self-sufficient and sustainable and hopefully start producing income? I mean, that's why we bought property, not only to be self-sufficient, but we would like to be able to generate income, whether that's through vegetables or animals or um, building a shop on my own land and doing fabrication work. Let's break down the money costs, all right? I gotta read this because it's it's pretty in depth. Um, my truck payment is only $311.85 a month. That, at first I plan on keeping the truck because that's not that much. But then the insurance is $145.82 and about two tanks of fuel a month is $240 a month. Then, um, within the year of ownership, I've spent $1,500 in repairs, so that average is about $125 a month. So, the $311.85 a month truck payment is actually $822.67 a month. And that's kind of uh, that's kind of crazy. I don't think I can afford that, or I, I should willingly afford that when we move out there. That's probably 60 hours of work if I was making $25 an hour, which my trade and skill, that's about the wage I could make out there working for somebody else, $25 an hour. So just the truck, I would have to work 60 hours a month to keep with all the other expenses. Um, that's 71.6% of our mortgage. That's 274 gallons of fuel. If I got 27 miles per gallon, I could drive 7,398 miles on one month of truck expenses or drive for 18.4 months if I averaged 400 miles a month of driving. Time is the ultimate currency, as Elon Musk says um, in this tweet right here. And that really hit home. Also, I've read this book right here, Letter to a Young Farmer, written by Gene Logsdon. Rest in peace, I guess he just died a couple years ago. But on the, when you say time is money or time is the ultimate currency, his logic is time is life. He'd rather spend time on his farm than out in town making money so he keeps his expenses low so he could spend more time on his property doing what's more important to him. So therefore, time is life. So these are hard choices for me to make. I've been making them for the last year, getting rid of projects, really cutting down on my expenses to make sure that we can live the life that we want in Kentucky. And that may not be living with the latest and greatest stuff or the most powerful, cool truck, but it will mean that we can live how we want, when we want. Um, that's why I'm moving out there, so I don't have to keep doing that. Yeah, these are just hard choices that we have to make in order to make our dreams a reality. 